Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll see how to do multi-threading with Netmico using threading module. This script I have created from one of our previous example, which is exception handling. I'll open exception handling also here. First, we'll do a comparison with exception handling script. Here, instead of a for loop, I have converted this into a function. The function name is Netmico connect. And Within the function, I'm passing the device details as the argument and inside that I'm connecting to each device. And other than that, here instead of printing the output directly into the terminal, I'm writing this to a file. The file name is device ip.txt. These are the only changes from the exception handling script. Now, if I want to execute this, on a particular device you can do netmico connect and keyword argument and i'll give vios1 because we are already executing this on lab csr and i'll give vios1 so now this will be executing on both devices and here i'm defining start time and here i'll be printing the time taken for the complete function execution so let us try running this so here in this script instead of printing this in the terminal this will be creating a file with device ip so it is saying connecting successfully to the device and this has taken total 1.7 seconds to execute on two devices and here you can see two files now we will see how to do multi-threading for that we will refer one of our previous script these scripts i have demonstrated in the multi-threading section so here we are going to see how to use threading module. So first we need to import threading. In the new file I'll import threading. And in the Paramico example, we were looping through multiple devices. So there also the list name was host. And here also if you see the list name is host and the function name is netmico connect and in the previous example the function name was cisco cmd executor i'll take a copy of this i can remove this separate execution and here we can change the function name And here also we are passing keyword argument. So here we were passing all these arguments and then we had the device dictionaries here. Same way we are passing the keyword arguments here as well. Now here we will be getting total time taken for completing the execution. So let us try running this. So this completed within 0.9 seconds on all the three devices. Let us verify the file. Now we have received three text files with device IP. And this logic I have explained in the multi-threading tutorial. 